Okay. I'm just going to put a dot of colour on each one. A dot of water, sorry. Not colour. Because it's starting to dry out. I've just got a fine call. Okay. Let's see how we go there. Um, Alright, so I've got all the names and everything up. I've written what I, well, what I can find anyway. I've messaged... Um, I don't know her name. I've messaged the girl at La Pigmentarium and I have asked her... Uh, did she give me her name? I think it's Manon. I've messaged her and asked her for the names. I tried to look on the website but it was down at the moment so I've just asked her for like a photo with the names on them so that I can build a swatch card. So I've made a little swatch card. I'm just waiting to put names. Um, I'll swatch them anyway. But um, I'll just do these swatches and then I'll probably do better ones later. So this is... Um, I have no idea. It's some sort of beautiful red though. So there it is there. Um, I'm not going to be able to add water to these so I'll do a proper swatch later. I might just go up a bit with it. They seem to stain quickly, which is weird. I'm a very staining, it looks staining. I don't know. Okay, this one is Gourmand. And it looks like it might have a bit of... Um, sparkle in it. Let me just have a look. No, I didn't put these in a very good spot really, did I? Let me move them over a bit. Yeah, you can still see them. There we go. Now let's see if we can get some Not sure if it does or not. Definitely going to have to get some more room to do these. So that was Gourmand. That's a beautiful colour. It's very beautiful. And it, I don't know, it, it could have sparkle, just not a lot. It's a very pretty colour. I want to play with that more. Okay, the next one, we don't have the name yet. It's definitely got sparkle in it. It's looking very pretty coming off the thing. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just sort of going up because I haven't really left myself much room for, to go sideways. So, um, and the next one we don't have the colour either, the name. Seems to be coming off nicely. Oh yeah, see it makes a difference. The, the first day I got them I didn't put a little dot first and she did put that in the instructions. And I didn't listen, of course, because I wanted to just get into them. Um, I've never done that with paints before. I've always just... So it says here, pre-wet your paint before use to reactivate the colours and have the best result. So definitely should have listened because it's much easier. It's coming off a lot, a lot nicer. Oh, well, I can see the sparkle in this one now, Gourmand. That's beautiful. It's not, it's not over the top too much. <gasps> wow, these are beautiful. Oh wow, and I can see the sparkle coming in this one. Oh wow, how beautiful. Oh, I need to get these off here. I'm going to try and pick them all up at once. I hope it's not a disaster. Oh, well done. So that I can just show you. Uh, hopefully you can see the sparkle. I'm just looking to see if you can see it. Oh, it's so pretty. 
Wow. I wish watercolours would stay wet. They always look so pretty when they're wet. I'm not sure if you can see it. I can't quite see if you can see it, but I'll make sure you can after. Oh, oh, I think I just... Oh, yeah, there it is. Look. Look at that. It's got like a pretty warm coloured sparkle in it. And then let's see this one. You see the blue? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then this one? This one's still drying a bit, so the sparkle will come up more after. But, oh, look. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, they're so pretty. And look, I love all that. The moon, oh, I love all that. Look, see, this I love. I love this sort of texture. Um, I'm big on that in my own work. Mmm, beautiful. Alright, the next one, I think it's called Raul, but I'm not sure. So, um, it's, uh, I'm struggling to read because she has lovely cursive writing. Um, but I'm struggling to read it. This looks like a very strong purple. So, I'm not going to... Well, I don't know what I need. Oh, no, it's actually not as strong as it looks. They're so de deceiving from when you look at the pan to what actually comes out. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful purple. It looks like it might be granulating too. Mm. How beautiful. Wow, I knew these paints would be beautiful. Look at all that. Oh, look at what it's doing. Oh, there. It's just so beautiful. Wow. Yep, I'm in love. And, um, sorry, I'm just moving things around a bit here, getting them stable. Okay, so we're on to the next line here. Um, passable, passable, I don't know, <laughs> just getting, getting a bit, um, getting my French on. All right, let's see here. Okay, I'll start at the bottom. This is a lovely silver grey. It's really interesting. I don't usually use this sort of colour, so uh, it'll be interesting giving it a try. Um, it's got a lot of little grains in it. I'll just um, pull some water into it, pull it out a bit. I really need to do better swatching than this. Um, I was just so eager to get it done. I haven't um, set up a major good little swatching thing or anything, as you can see. I just wanted to show it. So we'll see how that dries. I'm not in love with it, but um, I don't know. I like it next to the red, though. That red's beautiful. And I'm not a big red fan, but that red is stunning. Okay, I'm going to... Passion, passionate. It's obviously passion in English. Passionate. <laughs> I don't know. Don't laugh at me if you're French. I probably sound ridiculous. Okay. Oh, okay. This is like a bluey purple. Let's see. Oh, it's a. Try not to contaminate it with the other colours. Yeah, it's, I knew it would move over. This is, I'm not that fast. Just get it moving along. And, oh wow, that's nice. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Okay, it looks like it's going to separate a bit um, with the blue and the red, purpley red. Uh, I'll just lift it up and show you. Oh, this palette's beautiful. I can't wait to do a painting with the palette. It's beautiful. So... 
Not sure if you can see that. And it might need some time to dry, but it does look like it's separating. Mm, I love how granular they all are, and they're separating, and oh, they're doing beautiful things. Okay, I'm going into the next one, which is Elegante. So, elegant in English, of course. Um, looks like a sort of a... Whoa, this is a black. That's very strong. Very, very strong. I just want to pull it out and I'm not giving myself much room. I'm going to have to do better swatching than this. I want to do it over here. because. So it's a black, dark grey. I'm not sure if I would use this much. It's not a colour that I would use much, but you never know. I mean, I use ink for my blacks usually but we'll see let's see how it dries let me just pull it out a bit more give it a bit more room to move <laughs> um, I prefer what it's doing over here so and again it looks like it's granulating a granulating black would be interesting and mixing it with other colours too would be interesting. Wow, this one's really done some interesting stuff here. The way it's separated is really beautiful. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be um, separating in colour-wise, just in, um, you know, doing a bit of granulating and moving nicely. So we'll just keep an eye on that. But I reckon if I added a bit of colour to that, if I mixed a couple while using them, that would be beautiful. Okay. All right, on to the next one, which is Tendre, which looks like a grey, although it actually looks like a purple, a muted purple. Well, just I won't pull too much and see what... Oh, yeah, look, it's muted purple. I mean, I knew the colours when I bought them, but... There were so many to go through and I was in a hurry because they sold out so quickly. I knew I wanted them all and they were all beautiful, but I, remembering them is a different story. I just knew there were a lot of beautiful purples. Um, bit of shimmer and um, I forgot there was a yellow in there and I was happy with that because I wanted there to be a yellow. Okay, so... Yeah, look at all that, the way it moves around. That's Tendre. I might just make sure that I remember that that's that, because it's moving over to the next one. It's a pretty um, pretty dodgy video, really. Not very <laughs> well organised, but um, I'll, I'll do better ones later. I just wanted to try them. Okay. Yeah, that's a beautiful colour. Look at that. So it moves really nicely too. The first day I tried them, I didn't wet them. They weren't moving really nicely. Also, I was using a different brush. What brush was it? Where's the brush I was using? I was using this brush. And it just doesn't get the nice water that this brush does. I love this brush too, but um, it depends what I want to use it for. Uh, for swatching, I like this one. And for really wet work, this is my favourite brush. This is a Neef number 10 oh, I think it's a 10 hang on god they make it so hard to read I think it's a 10 it's a Neef um, and all the golds come off mahogany uh, kazan mahogany kazan 10 it's a 10 Okay, if I put it that way, I can read it. Mahogany Kazan. Anyway, whatever, I've read it, so you don't need to. All right, this is separating really nicely too and moving around really nicely. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm not sure if it's picking up the colour as nice in the, in the actual um, camera. 
it looks a bit bluer to me than what it does in real life but until I get it on the computer and look at it properly I don't know because I'm just looking at a tiny screen um, but this is a beautiful muted purple I really like that and see what these other ones have done now I'll just see if I can go back and can you see that isn't that pretty so that one that purple there doesn't have any shimmer in it but this one does and then you've got an underlying pinky purple. This one I love, that gourmand. I love them all actually. And that blue, they're all beautiful. That is actually stunning and it does, it's not showing on the camera but it's got bits of purple and like muted purple in it and the blue. It's actually a really beautiful colour that one. And I wasn't really uh, when I was picking them, that one didn't stand out to me, but it certainly is now. It's beautiful. Okay, on to the next one, which we don't know the name of, and it's this one here. It looks very shimmery. And it is. It's pretty. Okay, I can move over. Yay. Oh, I hate not being able to move around much. It's so restrictive when I like to separate things. And Oh, this is a beautiful colour. Oh, wow, I love this. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, that's moved over into it there, but whatever. It's so pretty. Mmm, so pretty. Wow. Oh my god. I love these paints. Okay, next one. Changinette. I don't know. Anyway, look at it the way it's sitting because I've wet it and there's blue sparkly stuff in it. I'll move it that way so you can see. Just trying to get it so you can see it. So blue sparkly stuff and it's sort of sitting in the top. It's a very beautiful blue. So that's just mixed it back in again. And let's see. Wow, how interesting. It's got like an undertone of this really lovely almost aqua blue and then it's granulating as well wow and then it's it may even have a tiny bit of purple in there it's a really interesting color I really like it and I want to wet it I'm gonna go over here and just wet and move along wow yeah it's separating oh yeah it's beautiful it's beautiful. Wow. Oh wow. Goodness me, these are so beautiful. Oh, Manon has done a beautiful job with these paints. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's got like a just lift it up. It's got like a a muted-y, purpley colour, then a beautiful sort of uh, turquoise aqua blue, and then the shimmer, the grey, grey, silvery shimmer. It's just beautiful. And the shimmer is, I can't even figure out what colour the shimmer is. It's just, it's doing beautiful things to look at it. And then I've done this little really um, light one. Oh, so beautiful. That would be great for some atmosphere. An at atmospheric sort of piece. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go to the next one, which is the May Mystery. Um, this one was I was the most excited about. Because it looked so amazing in... The pictures online 
on the side and apparently a lot of she's she's had it well it was from May and she had to make it again because so many people asked for it and loved it so much I bought two of them because I was like oh I don't want to run out of it and I knew I'd love it so this is the thing it goes on like this and it just looks like a, a sort of light maroni color but then as it dries and separates it does all these magical things which you won't see straight away and I'll just put some over here in the bigger area so you can see so this book I'm using the paper it's um, Jane Davenport's small art journal I'll try to get that and I might just move things around a bit um, yeah it's Jane Davenport's small art journal and the paper takes watercolor really nicely I'm gonna do swatches on these on some other ones as well the swatch card that I'm doing for the palette to sit in the lid of the palette is Fabriano cold press paper so it's rough cold pressed and then I'll do some more on Fabriano and some others and see how they sit and also this one was done on gesso this this one which I love to paint watercolor on gesso I, something about it I just love okay so there's the main mystery We're on to September mystery and this is the one that reminds me of a nap Naples yellow um, and it's got shimmer in it as well oh you can see it on the you can see it on the paintbrush I don't know if you can see that maybe oops I might be getting to there I don't know I reckon you can see it there so this is the September mystery that's really interesting it's got like a purple shimmer in a yellow so clever aren't they paint makers I'd love to do it but no, I've got way too much going on in my life to worry about that I'd rather buy them off someone else no, too much already made I run a um, homemade business so I make products for photographers so I don't need to be making any more things maybe one day when I have more time on my hands it would be fun to create some of my own pigments some of my own paints but I do love these okay that's really nice I can't see the shimmer yet sorry about that um, my granddaughter's not well and she has an infection in her eye she's in the hospital an emergency at the moment so they're a bit worried about the infection so I'm receiving notifications from my daughter as we speak um, she lives in another state on the other side of the country so I can't um, go down there review or something oh goodness I'm hopeless at these things I wish there a bit more water to my brush the purples look really strong but they um they take a bit of picking up actually well not too much but they're not quite as strong and dark as they look in the Thing. these are very similar colors one is slightly more of a red red violet and the other one is more of a blue violet very granulating this one will see how granulating it is there's not really much area for me to pull that into okay now down to the last row Violet Black Starling. This one wasn't part of the palette, um, it was separate, but it just looked so beautiful. 
I felt like I really had to have it. And it is as beautiful as it looked. Look at that. This paper's not... Um, actually, I don't know if it's the paper or not. Anyway, that's beautiful. And it reminds me of this one, the Change Height. It's very similar. We'll see how that dries. It's doing a lot of lovely, beautiful things. This one, Scarabee. It, actually, no, that's not it. Where is it here? Oh, okay, I actually got confused and I was working from that, which I already have. No wonder, it is exactly the same. So that's that one, not Violet Back Starling. Violet Back Starling is this one over here. So I'll just swatch it out over here. Mm, it's beautiful. Can you see that? I have to move it over a bit. No wonder I was thinking, gee, they're exactly the same. What's the difference? Because it is the same paint. Really love that. Okay, so that's Violet Back Starling, and I better write that in case I forget. And, um, and then we've got this scaraby one, which is interesting. Looks like a brown, oh I've picked up a bit of hair. Looks like a brown with maybe a bluish, a bluish, um, oh wow, well, look at that. I'm going to go over there. Yeah, with bluish shimmer. Very interesting. I can't tell whether it's the paper or the... Or something's, you know, it's not soaking in. With the, down in this area, so it may just be the paper. Might just put some... Cauliflowers in there. Put a couple in there and see what they're doing. And here too. Okay, that's really interesting. I like it. Alright, and the last one is Marigold, which is a really beautiful. Whoa, that's really strong. Well, it looks really strong. Let's see how it comes on. Again, it's not, I think it's the paper, this little bit may have had. Wow, this colour is beautiful. I don't normally go for yellows, but that's gorgeous. Very beautiful. Just put a bit of the darker area here. Wow, what a gorgeous colour. Look at this, oh wow, you can see this now. Now that it's dried, this um, September mystery one, you can see that it's actually got that purpley, pinky purpley, I think it's actually pink shimmer in it. It's very pretty, very pretty. Mmm, that marigold is beautiful. I'm starting to like those colours now. The more richer yellows. That is a beautiful one. Okay, I absolutely love these colours. Um, sorry it was such an unorganised swatching swatches, but I'll do some nicer ones shortly. I just wanted to get in here and get some done. 
because they're so pretty. Now that I've got most of the names, I'll be able to at least um, set it up so that I can... That one goes there. Um, I'll be able to set it up with the swatching a bit better. Let's dry. Very shimmery. They're so shimmery, I just... Um, Yeah, they're really interesting. This one I love, this Gourmand, because it's not too shimmery. Like if you look at this one that I don't know the name of yet, and as I turn it, how shimmery it is. Like it's probably for me a bit... Mm, I think it just passes as shimmery enough. Maybe this one's got a bit of too much shimmer for me. This... This one here, I'll still use it and love it, but they're not something I'd normally buy. So um, I do put a little bit of gold shimmer in some of my illustrations, um, but I th I may end up really embracing that. But this one here, this gourmand, it's sort of got a really nice ratio of shimmer to matte paint. I'm just trying to get it in the right angle so you can see that. I think that's it. So it's not too much for me. Some people absolutely love a lot of shimmer. But for my illustrations, like that on cheeks would be beautiful. This in here would be stunning, this marigold. Um, with as flowers, same with this this color here, this red color. Um, this on cheeks would be beautiful, the May mystery, and it hasn't separated as much as what it has in the photographs, but I like it still. So this one on cheeks, that would be beautiful on cheeks. So would that. So would the violet back styling and great for shadows. Um, I like this colour. It looked a lot more purple when it was wet, but it's actually, it's almost looking indigo purple now. This is beautiful. This is just beautiful. I really love this one. That was a surprise to me. It's really, really beautiful. I want to play with that more. Um, I could see that. in the hair as well, in a lot of my illustrations actually, this one. Um, mm, and in a giraffe picture as well. Wow, okay, I'm getting all these ideas. This is beautiful. Um, beautiful goldy necklace, pearls, with this shimmer on it would look stunning. Yeah, so many ideas here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one's so interesting. I'm really looking forward to playing with them more and more. So I'm going to have a big play and see what I come up with. So that's the um, swatching for today. I hope you like them. I most certainly did. I do prefer, this is, looks quite chalky now. Um, and matte, which I don't mind. Um, I'll see what I, th I'll have a play with that. Um, but I do prefer it in this um, tone, rather. It's got more, it's more interesting to me in that tone. This one I think would make lovely shadows as well. Mmm, lipstick. That would work well for lips as well. So would that. So would this. Hmm. So many possibilities. Just beautiful. So that is La Pigmentarium. And that was their September box. And I got the full box and a few extras as well, which I'm happy with. Um, the I got two of 
two, two of the main mystery and two of something else. Which one? Delicate. So that's that one. It doesn't look a thing like it. When you look at it here, it looks red. Um, don't think that's right. Is that right? One, two, three. No, that's not. Why is that delicate? Oh. Okay, I see what I've done. That is that colour. And the delicate, I'm not sure that... Did I even do the delicate? I don't think I did. Okay, let's do that now. <laughs> Where will I put it? Here. Mm, that's not nice. oh beautiful look at that beautiful very very nice did I yeah you can see that so that's a beautiful muted maroon and I love it it looks very similar to the main mystery and I'm guessing that part of the red is in that that is in the main mystery but maybe not necessarily the purpley blue we'll see we'll see how it dries yeah the main mystery I don't know how I feel about that yet it's not doing exactly from what I remember from the website I have to be able to get back on and have a look um, I do like it so we'll see what I do with all these colors okay so I'm going to go now but thank you very much for watching and I hope I provided you with some good information on these beautiful paints. They weren't cheap, but for me, I feel like they were worth it. I see so many different possibilities in my illustrations with these colours. Um, I, I like what they do. I like the granulating effects they're having and all the little changes and movements within them. Um, so, And the shimmers are beautiful. And I know I will have use for them. So I feel like using this palette I'm going to come up with some interesting illustrations and I'm excited and looking forward to it. Thank you.